Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy day to join us for a time of prayer, where we on purpose commune with our Heavenly Father to thank him for what he has already done and send up his petitions that he has placed in our hearts. I am so grateful to our pastors, Pastor Rima C. Wright and co-pastor Mia K. Wright for setting up this platform of prayer and for the privilege and opportunity to be used in the service of the Lord. I am so grateful for the hearts of our shepherds. They are true blessings to our church body, the fountain of praise, to the global body of Christ, and to the world. Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 read, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Our God is great and greatly to be praised. Heavenly Father, this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. For you promise your children rest. And Father, we on purpose rest in you. We choose to cast every care on you right now, Lord God. We realize that in our might, we might not be able to do things. We may not have the strength to overcome many of the challenges and circumstances that we are facing, but thank God we don't have to. We realize that nothing is too big for you. Nothing is too great for you. Therefore, we can do all things through Christ because you are the source of our strength, Lord God. We just come honoring you, Heavenly Father. We just come thanking you that you are great, greatly to be praised, that you are mighty, Lord God. We thank you that in spite of different circumstances, despite of different things that might be going on, Lord God, you have sustained us in the past. You have kept us. You have brought us through. And therefore, Lord God, we are encouraged knowing that just as you have done great things for us in the past, we know that you will continue to do that, that you will hold us, that you will sustain us, that you will keep us and take us into our future, Lord God. Not only us, Heavenly Father, but I'm bold enough to say for our children, for our loved ones, for those that are around us, Lord God, and I just come thanking you for that, Lord God. I thank you that we are living testaments to you, to your grace, to your mercy, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that our lives are examples and an encouragement to all those around us, Heavenly Father. In this moment, it would be easy to look at our world and focus on the dark things that we might see, Heavenly Father. We might currently see grave injustices, oppression, inequality, disastrous weather events, horrific acts of violence, and divisiveness, Lord God. But we thank you, Heavenly Father, that we choose not to focus in on those things, Lord God, because I believe that they are temporary. In the book of Genesis, in the book of chapter one, it says that when you saw darkness, you didn't speak in agreement with the darkness, but instead you spoke light, you spoke light, you spoke what it is that you expected to see, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord God, that we have the opportunity to operate the same way that you operate, Lord God, because we are your children, we are created in your image and your likeness, Heavenly Father, and we have the ability and the authority to operate just as you operated in this world, Lord God. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, that we operate according to the design and blueprint that you have given us, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that in these times, we do not look at challenges, but we look at your word, we look at your promises, Heavenly Father, and therefore we act accordingly, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that we follow the example that you have given us. We on purpose speak light into dark situations, Lord God. We do not deny things that are going on, Lord God, but we speak in agreement with your word. We speak in power, we speak in faith, and we believe that we are going to see the things that we are speaking, the words that are coming out of our mouths, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that right now, COVID-19, this pandemic that we are currently in, Lord God, I thank you, Heavenly Father, that we are covered by the blood of Jesus. 
those who might be ill, Lord God. I just speak that by the blood of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, that we are healed, that they are healed, Lord God, that they are walking in deliverance, that people are walking in your best, Lord God. I speak healing to our land, Heavenly Father, either supernaturally or through the hands and revelation that you might give to medical practitioners, Lord God, to discover the, the cure, Heavenly Father. However you choose to heal our land, I just thank you that we are healed, Lord God. We believe you, Heavenly Father. You are a healer. You have put everything here on this earth, Lord God, and I believe that the cure is here. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, that it is found, that it is being able, that it is able to be manufactured, and the, those who are affected are able to receive it so that they can walk in your best to fulfill the purpose that you have created for them, Lord God. In the midst of storms, Heavenly Father, storms, hurricanes, wildfires, Lord God, we choose to look at not to look at what has been lost, but instead we choose to look at what has been spared, Heavenly Father. Thank you for sparing the lives of so many people, Lord God, that were in the paths of hurricanes, that were in the paths of storms, that were in the paths of fires, Heavenly Father. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, that houses might have been lost, but lives have been spared. Houses can be rebuilt. Possessions can be replaced, Lord God. But lives, once they leave here, Heavenly Father, they cannot be replaced. So I thank you, Lord God, that we focus on what is still here instead of what might have been removed. Thank you, Lord God, for freeing up space for new blessings that you want to bring into the lives of those who have been affected, Heavenly Father. Sometimes we have to be forced to let go of some things so that you can bring us into better, so that you can bless us with even more, Lord God. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, that we see everything through your perspective. In spite of what might have been taken away, we are still here. We are still able to move forward. And I just come thanking you for the perspective, Lord God, of life. Thank you for the gift of time, Heavenly Father, that we have been able to experience with our loved ones, either because of the pandemic or because of temporary displacement due to natural disasters, natural situations, Lord God. Lord, I just speak protection over people on the Gulf Coast right now that are being affected by storms, protection over people in California that are being affected by fires. I thank you again, Lord God, just for sparing lives. And I just speak hope, joy, and peace to them right now, Lord God. Peace, Heavenly Father, so that people can focus and hear from you on how to move forward from the situations that they might find themselves in, Lord God. I thank you for the ability to see every circumstance and situation through your eyes, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the release of resources right now that are meant for those who are being affected and for our nation, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that our nation walks in unity, that we walk in harmony, Lord, in harmony, Lord God. I thank you for empathy so that all of us can see others through your eyes of love and compassion, Lord God, so that we can see others as you have, as you have created them to be, Heavenly Father. Everybody was created with purpose with potential, Lord God. So I thank you that we are able to see into people, see into who it is that you've created them to be into their possibilities, Lord God. And we just look at everybody through the eyes of love, Heavenly Father, so that we walk in harmony, so that we walk in unity, Lord God. I thank you that we choose to see commonalities instead of seeing differences, Lord God. Lord, I ask you that you expose and remove people right now that might be in positions of authority that are intentionally misusing the authority that has been given to them, Lord God. I thank you for healing within our nation, within our communities, and even within our homes, Lord God. I thank you that couples, that marriages, walk together in unity, Heavenly Father, that is, they might be in close contact and close proximity because their ability to go other places might be hindered, Lord God. I thank you the lines of communication, Lord God, to just open that people have ears to hear what their friends and spouses and loved ones are saying, Lord God, that people do not walk in the fence, Heavenly Father, but relationships are emboldened right now, Lord God, ultimately so that there is unity within family structures, Heavenly Father. I thank you at this moment for 
I come lifting up in this moment our schools, Lord God. Many of the schools have already begun the process of returning, Heavenly Father. So, Lord, I just ask that our children, that our educators be covered by the blood of Jesus right now, Lord God. Give our leaders a plan to keep people safe so that learning can and will take place, Lord God. Bless people with ideas to maximize technology to impact students. And I thank you, Lord God, for the obedience of people to follow rules and guidelines that have been put in place to keep us safe, Lord God. We will not be divided, Lord God, but we will be focused on what is right, not who's right, but what is right, Lord God. If people are being asked to wear masks, regardless of how they might feel, Lord God, I thank you just for a spirit of obedience so that we're able to move forward and move into a place of safety and security, Lord God. I pray and lift up our political leaders to you right now, Lord God. I thank you for those that currently hold positions of authority, and I also lift up those who are running for various positions as well, Lord God. Right now, our political process can divide people, Lord God, but I just speak unity. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for people to participate in the process of democracy. I thank you for stirring people into action, Lord God. They will not be discouraged, but they will be excited. They will be invigorated. They will go to the polls and they will exercise their right to vote, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that people are able to hear the truth in spite of fear, in spite of propaganda that might be going forth, Lord God. I thank you that people just hear clearly that they vote based upon who you have placed in their heart, based upon their ideals, based upon their principles, Heavenly Father, for who they believe to be their best choice. I lift up our leaders and I pray that our leaders make decisions that are good for the majority and not just for a select few, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that our nation, that in our nation, we choose to focus on what is right according to the, the ideals that so many of us profess, Heavenly Father. I lift up our church leaders to you right now, Lord God. I come lifting up the pastors, the bishops, all the leaders that lead your sheep, Heavenly Father, you have said in your word that you have given us leaders after your own heart. And I believe that, Lord God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that during these times that you just bless our leaders to be able to make an impact in this world, in this nation, in their cities, in the areas that you have given them authority, Lord God. I thank you that ministry is still going forward, that they are able to make an impact in the world, Lord God. I thank you that financially every need is met, Heavenly Father. Every need is met for human capital, for the resources, for technology, Heavenly Father, so that your word goes forth unhindered, uninterrupted, and reaches the four corners of the earth, Lord God. I just come lifting up church leaders as churches reopen, Heavenly Father, as our churches looking at reopening this month, excuse me, in October coming up, Lord God, I thank you for the plan that you have placed in the heart of our pastors. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the technology base, for the event right, for the obedience of people to follow the processes that are in place, Lord God, so that as we come back, we are able to be safe, Heavenly Father, and I just come thanking you for that. I thank you not only for our pastors, but pastors globally, our partners in Colombia and Brazil, and beyond, Lord God, I thank you, Heavenly Father, for everybody that is associated with this ministry. Thank you for joining us today. I thank you that you took time to just lift up those prayers. Even though our time is up, you can continue to pray. You can continue to share petitions that God has placed on your heart because the word of God is powerful. And I do believe that his word does not come back void. So I thank you, Father, for all the things that we have asked. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.